Hello and welcome back to Watch Life. I hope whoever's watching this is doing okay, and I hope that you enjoy this video. If at the end of this video you like what you see, then maybe consider subscribing, giving it a like, and turning on the bell notifications. So I was scrolling through my computer a few days ago trying to figure out a good idea for the next video I should do. And not really coming up with any good ideas, I started daydreaming a little bit. And amongst all the thoughts that I was thinking, my brain eventually came to the thought that I wonder what the most expensive console is out there. I did a little bit of digging and I found five of the most expensive or rare consoles available to buy out there. And I'd like to share them with you today. As always, this is Watch Life. And once again, I hope you enjoy the video. Before we get into the video, I do want to say that due to copyright issues, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show the actual consoles. But as it's true for all other videos on this channel, I will leave links to the articles that I used for the video and you can see all the consoles that I'm talking about there. Thank you. The first console on our list is going to be a Sega Dreamcast, but more specifically it's going to be the Dreamcast Miziora Edition. Now this Dreamcast was a special edition Dreamcast that was made in Japan around 1999. This Dreamcast came to be thanks to a partnership between Sega and Miziora. And what makes this console unique is that it's painted with a beautiful pearlescent paint. And the paint actually changes color depending on the angle and light that you look at it from. Now there was only a couple ways that you could order this console. One was online, and the other was winning it in a racing contest. They only produced about 500 units, and the console has been sold between $4,500 and $6,000, which is a lot more than I would pay for a Sega Dreamcast, but considering it is a one-of-a-kind, for the right person, it could be a good fit. Following the Sega Dreamcast, we have an Xbox One X. Now, what makes this console unique is that I think they only made one of them, and it's a Shadow of the Tomb Raider uh, limited edition Xbox. Now, this console was sold on eBay, and its purpose was to raise money for a charity called Best Friends around September 2018. Now, to me, Microsoft has always done a great job with their limited edition consoles and controllers, and I'm not exactly sure if this one was made by Microsoft or a third-party company, but either way, this is probably one of my favorite consoles on the list because it's just so breathtaking. The console itself has engravings that are very detailed and the vine looks like it's literally growing out of the console. The controller also has a vine on it that looks like it's wrapping the controller. Like I said, the level of detail on this is just amazing and regardless if it was made by Microsoft or a third party, it's just a beautiful console to look at. The eBay listing started at $1,000 but quickly climbed and sold for $8,300. And for a console with this level of detail and artwork, I'm not surprised. Following the Xbox, we have an Atari Cosmos. This Atari Cosmos was a handheld console that was unreleased by Atari. This console used holography to improve the look of the display. This unreleased console began production around 1978 and was going to have 9 released games to go along with it. But in 1991, when the console was shown at the New York Fair, reviewers were kind of critical of the system. Though Atari was still going to go with the project, by the end of the year, Atari pulled the plug on the project due to criticism it had received. Only 250 were made, and one managed to to make its way on eBay selling for around $19,000. Dear God, I could buy myself a half decent car for 19 grand. Following that very expensive Atari, we have a Nintendo PlayStation console. And yeah, you heard me right, Nintendo PlayStation. Now this is another console that was never really released and only 200 prototypes were made. They were created in 1991, but the partnership between Nintendo and Sony fell through. The console itself looks kind of like a Super Nintendo with a CD-ROM drive on it. Now they say that only one was really given to Heritage Auctions, and the other 199 consoles were destroyed when Nintendo and Sony's partnership ended. The winner of that console was a gentleman named Greg McLemore. The console was sold in a private auction for $360,000. Greg bought the console to create a permanent museum for his collection. Man, if you guys thought that Nintendo PlayStation was expensive, just wait until you guys hear about this Nintendo Wii Supreme. Now, unlike the regular Nintendo Wii, the system was unique on its own. There were only three of these things made, and it was made out of solid 22 karat gold. Now, not only is it made out of solid gold, but the buttons are made out of flawless 19 karat diamonds. Now this console is actually considered one of the most expensive and rarest consoles in the whole world and was actually created by a luxury tech company, Stuart Hughes, in 2009. Now hang on to your seats everybody because this console ranges between over $330,000 to almost half a million dollars. And I wish I had that kind of money to just spend on a console like that. 
Now, I love video games and everything, but I don't know if I would spend all that money on a console just because it looked unique or different. Like, don't get me wrong, all the consoles on this list look beautiful and credit where credit is due, but at the end of the day, they do the same thing as the console that's sitting in your living room right now. I suppose if you're a collector or you have a museum or something, then I guess it's worth the investment, but if you're just a person, you'd probably be better off spending your money on something else. But that's just my opinion. Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, consider subscribing to this channel and giving this video a like. Also, don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys in the next one.